Am I the asshole? For excluding my parents' thruple partner from my wedding. I was raised by my maternal grandparents. My parents M46, F56 are free spirits that didn't want to settle down and raise a child. Whatever. I saw them every few months when they would come by. Eventually they stopped coming. I didn't miss them. My grandmother and grandfather were my parents. I am getting married in March and my invitations have all gone out. I invited my parents as guests. They are not part of the wedding or anything like that. I wasn't going to invite them but my grandfather asked me to please let my bio mom be a part of my day. About a week ago I spoke with my bio dad. He wants a plus one on their invitation. I have not seen him in years so I thought maybe they had another kid and hadn't mentioned it. Nope. Apparently him and my mother have a man in his 30s that is a part of their relationship. While neither myself or my fiancé are particularly religious, and I have no objections to polygamous relationships in general, I would prefer not to have to deal with that at my wedding. I told him that he and my mother were invited as a courtesy and that they had no parental privileges for me to consider. He said that excluding their partner was mean and that he wouldn't have left me with my grandparents if he knew they were going to raise me to be prejudiced. I have spoken with my grandparents about this. Both sets. Nobody knew anything about this. So it seems that they were going to use my wedding to introduce this guy to the families. I called him back and was very firm. I told him that I have spoken with my wedding coordinator and made sure that no uninvited guests come to my wedding. Since we are having the reception at a resort hotel in my city they have security. I also spoke with the manager and explained that I might have uninvited guests trying to get into my wedding reception. He said that security would escort anyone like that off the property and call the cops if needed. All of this was relayed to my parents. Now they are complaining to everyone. I am dealing with it by telling everyone who calls me to fight for them exactly why I am excluding the person they want to bring. I just talked to my mother and she screamed at me for telling people her private business. Am I the asshole? Edit. Adding in that all my guests get A plus 1 unless I invited them as a couple or as a family. Not the asshole I love that we wouldn't have abandoned you if we knew you were going to be raised like this line. You should totally come back with but you did abandon me and these are the consequences. And if they were going to use this to introduce this person to their families, then they have no right to talk about private business. Not the asshole. This doesn't sound like it's about a prejudice about polyamory so much as it's about not wanting some random stranger at your wedding. And not owing your parents anything, they're lucky they're getting an invite at all. I told him that he and my mother were invited as a courtesy and that they had no parental privileges for me to consider. Well said how exhausting for you to have to defend this to your own parents. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Ignoring the polyam angle for a moment, it sounds like your parents are trying to upstage your wedding that's crass all by itself, and a legitimate reason for you to decide you don't want them there. They're not there to celebrate you they're there to tell people about their latest excitement. Tell them they can send holiday cards to everyone announcing the happy expansion but your wedding day is about your wedding. Not the asshole. I. My parents M46, F56. JFC, the whole time I'm reading this I'm looking at those age gaps and thinking please don't let this thruple person be a 36 yo. Apparently him and my mother have a man in his 30s that is a part of their relationship. I am going full Michaela Maroney over here. It wasn't going to be her private business if they were going to bring him to your wedding. Not the asshole this isn't about you being biased. It's about not wanting your wedding upstaged by the introduction to everybody of a total stranger. If this mattered so much to them, they should have bothered to introduce you to the guy before now. Or mentioned his existence. Not the asshole private business my A they want to parade that specific business at your wedding. Not the asshole for not wanting to invite a complete stranger to your wedding. Nta. At this point, you should reconsider. If they're being this obnoxious before the wedding, do you really think they'll manage to behave at the wedding? This is not how adults respond to courtesy invitations. Not the asshole. Your wedding is about you and your fiancé. You have kindly invited your mother and father. They asked for A plus 1, which is fine, and you said no, which is your right. It should have ended there. Everything past that makes your father the ah. Congrats on your wedding and I wish you many years of happiness. Not the asshole the sperm donor should be grateful he even got an invite never mind making demands for A plus 1 for someone you never met. If the incubator didn't want her private life fared then she never should have let him make the demand. What happened is a result of their actions not yours. You stood your ground, good for you.
not the asshole. They don't get to ask for favors after abandoning you. That he wouldn't have left me with my grandparents if he knew they were going to raise me to be prejudiced. In this context, that remark would end my attempts at a relationship with that dude. Not the asshole. Not the asshole, after this BS it might be easier to just uninvite them. Especially since your bio mom just screamed at you. Do they think that's going to get them in anyone's good graces? Not the asshole. You have no obligation to invite a complete stranger to your wedding regardless of who that stranger is sleeping with. Not the asshole. Your wedding your rules. You have valid reasons and if they don't like it, they re free to stay away. Not the asshole your parents that are still a couple want to bring a one to your wedding you tell them no they then tell other family you won't let them bring this guy when the other family ring you to harass you about your decision you explain to them why then your mother rings you to scream at you for telling everybody their business, how did they think to explain this all away at your wedding? Not the asshole. Kinda mind blown at the selfishness of your bio parents tbh. They were going to use your wedding to introduce him. Like that wasn't going to cause a stir. This would already be too much BS for me and I'd add bio mom and dad to the do not allow entry list with security and just enjoy my day. Not the asshole. This is your wedding, not theirs. They're trying to freeload off your celebration and make it about them. That's some ballsy entitlement. Not the asshole. Frankly they're lucky that they're even getting invited, because they are as hell don't deserve to be. Not the asshole. A major life event for a distant relative for example you is never the time nor place to introduce a new person, whether it is a romantic partner, roommate, or child. Not the asshole. They're not your parents, and they were gonna use your big day to get attention. This isn't about discriminating against polyamory my mom is poly and if she had a new partner I wouldn't want to meet him at my wedding. Their invites were a courtesy, they don't get to ask for more. Not the asshole. Just tell your parents they are no longer invited and be done with them. If your grandparents push back again, threaten to elope. Not the asshole. They were barely invited in the first place, they don't get to demand extra people, even if they are dating them. You already didn't really want them there. I would uninvite them flat out and apologize to your grandfather that you wanted to meet his wishes, but your parents have caused so much drama and strife and sent so many flying monkeys, that you don't want their childish antics around your wedding day. All my guests get A plus 1 unless I invited them as a couple or as a family. So, singles get A plus 1. Standard. She screamed at me for telling people her private business. Yeah, she was planning on announcing the news and being the center of attention at your wedding. And you took that moment away from her oh darn Sarkoff so not the asshole. At this point, grandfather or no, I'd uninvite both bio parents. They're sure not going to be there to celebrate your happiness, they'll just sulk and badmouth you through the whole thing. Not the asshole it's your wedding your day for you and your fiancé to shine and show your love for each other and not to have someone try and ruin your day by introducing their member of the triad to both sides of your family. Not the asshole. Your wedding is not an appropriate place to introduce their throuple partner to the world. Also, I'm looking sideways at your mom for going after a barely legal kid to have a baby with when she was 29? Not the asshole. OMG. Please, please do yourself a favor and just invite all of them. I know they are bio parents but they are bringing nothing but trouble to the party. You already have your mom screaming at you and you haven't had a relationship with her ever. Cut them out and move on. Not the asshole. Stand your ground. If you can, uninvite both your bio mom and bio dad and make security aware. It is a certainty they will cause a scene. They would have anyway. She's yelling at you for spoiling the surprise she wanted to surprise everyone with. Not the asshole. No one is Oda one. I think you are being very gracious inviting them at all. Not the asshole why they think this is a place to showcase their lifestyle choices and all about them rather than acknowledging it's your day is mind boggling. I guess it's just what parents who chose not to be part of your life to this point would potentially be like, but they are the a-holes. Not the asshole it's your wedding that means your rules. If they don't like them they can pound sand. Plus it seems like you haven't met their third partner before making him a total stranger. Not the asshole. Your wedding, your rules that's a rare absolute. Your bio parents are selfish, ridiculous, unserious people, and they're lucky you invited them at all. Not the asshole, and obviously, you really don't owe them anything based on their poor decisions and behaviors being absent from your life. Does your grandfather still want this courtesy invitation? He's the only reason the inevitable snowball started. Not the asshole. 
Fucking lol. Honestly disinvite all of them from your life. What a disgustingly entitled set of people. First they abandon you because they can't be bothered to raise you, now they want to use your wedding to introduce their boy toy to their families. Oh, and how dare you tell people the truth about them of course. I think it's time to let them go. I can't imagine your grandfather wouldn't understand after all this. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Yikes. They should feel lucky that you invited them at all. Not the asshole, you gave an inch. Not the asshole. It's your wedding, your rules. You have very valid reasons for not having much of a relationship with them, as they didn't want much to do with you at all it seems. Also, it's rich that she's yelling at you for telling people her private business when she was going to bring this third wheel to your wedding what, people wouldn't find out? Not the asshole. Weddings are one of the few events in our lives where you get to specify if someone invited can bring a guest. Because you're paying for their attendance. Before I was married, I went to weddings where I didn't have a plus one. Perhaps the monogamous heterosexuals getting married were prejudice against my monogamous heterosexual lifestyle too. S. Not the asshole. They can make this about their thruple husband all they want but when you boil it down it's basically the same as anyone else who was invited as a courtesy the random friend my parents invited to my wedding wanted to bring a plus one who you don't know. Tell your bio dad that you're not inviting anyone you haven't met to your wedding. That your wedding day is about you and your fiancé and committing to each other for life, and isn't a day you want to share with strangers. And remind him he's free to decline the invitation. Not the asshole. Why do I get the feeling that if OP had been cool with this it would have just continued to escalate with dad and his partner wanting to walk OP down the aisle or wanting two father-daughter dances? And before anyone accuses me of having an issue with polyamory, the officiant of my wedding was is in a poly relationship and we invited both of his partners. This is more about ops parents using being free spirits to act like spoiled children. I